So Capture One has recently released a beta version of their software, which they're marketing as the one and done software for portrait retouching, meaning there's less need to actually leave the software and go into other softwares like Photoshop. But there's something familiar about this particular module that they've released with the likes of Retouch For Me, Avoto AI, and recently Apity, all offering this type of module on their software. But what makes Capture One different? It's simply because it's the industry standard, it's the leading standard when it comes to high-end photography. But what I wanna do is quickly take a look and give you my first reaction or first impression of this Capture One new portrait retouching module. Then I'm gonna quickly compare that with what Evoto AI offered uh, offers already because it's software that I'm you know familiar with and something that is already part of my workflow. So I will do a quick comparison of the exact same features that Evoto AI offers versus Capture One and then give you my honest reaction of that. I've got two images open here, exactly the same images, both on Evoto AI and also the other on the Capture One beta software. So in the Capture One beta software, you will see under your panels on your left hand side, you will see the addition of the retouch panel. And so, and under this retouch panel, it automatically kind of recognizes face. And I think this is more geared towards portrait. So, so in terms of comparison to Evoto, Evoto AI don't just work on face, it can work on the entire image, the person's body, the clothes, the backdrop, shadows. So for me right now, Evoto offers a lot more in terms of what it can do. So both software offer you the ability to tweak your settings and apply your effects according to your taste. And I do like the way Capture One handles colors straight out of camera. So this is a raw file from my Sony a7 IV. Um, it is a bit misfocused, I must admit. I misfocused slightly on that. But I just wanted to do a quick retouch uh, comparison between Evoto and Capture One. I'm gonna put the impact all the way high um, on everything so we can actually see it. I'm gonna pull everything to 100 and then bring it back to where I feel like it's appropriate for my style. And you know, I don't wanna make my subject look plastic. So I do that. So the first slider I'm gonna do is blemish removal. Um, Laura doesn't have any blem a lot of blemishes on her face. Actually got really good skin. So that's, that's, that's always a good start. Um, and if I pull that slider before and after, so it, it does, do a fantastic job maintaining that natural look. Um, really impressed with that. Then you got dark circle slider, pull that all the way to 100. So you got before, after, before, after. Again, good job there. And um, getting rid of dark circle without making, again, the face look any, you know, look crazy basically. So the next slider is the even skin slider and I am going to get the amount again. So the amount here is again, your opacity, how much of it do you want to see? So if you go to hundred, that's where it looks way, way too overdone, way too processed. So the next slider under that is your texture slider. What I can see here now is, wow, it does bring back a lot of good, textures back into the skin and then finally you've got the contour so this just basically kind of like contours the face um the highlights and the shadows and so if we go zoom it out a little bit and then go to the before split view so we go before after before after it's done a really good job. And as you can see here, it's just the face. It's not done any editing on the actual body. It's literally just the face. And yeah, so that that is with everything on full blast. 
and that is what it looks like so let's now jump into Revolto and do the same thing so first off the bat you can see the colors are slightly different I feel like there's a little bit more magenta and a little bit more blue in the Evoto raw file versus a little bit more warmed and a little bit more green in the Capture One. I think I prefer the Capture One one better, but obviously you can tweak the colors regardless of what software you're using to make it match a lot better. So we're gonna do the same thing. Um, as you can see, with Evoto, there's so much more choices you can do, but we're gonna go into the one I think that matches the most with Evoto from Capture One, which is your blemishes. And in the blemishes tab, you've got face refinement, which is the one that I would say removes, removes most of the blemishes from a human's face, from your subject face. So I'm gonna go to basically your acne and freckles removal and pump that all the way to 100. And if we go before and after, you can see again, does an amazing job maintaining the, the natural textures and natural look of my subject. Up next is the dark circle, which you can also find in Capture One. So we're gonna pump that to 100. Same again, if I zoom in, you'll see, does a pretty good job um, of that. And if we come down, so in Capture One, you've got blemishes, dark circles, and then you've got even skin. So skin texture, uh, contouring. So if we go into Evolto Skin Retouching now, and then we go to Dodge and Burn Even. Uh, Dodge and Burn is a new kind of like button that Evolto has added recently. It's basically whacked that all to 100 again, so you can see. So it does start to basically evens out the skin really nicely that's that's done a fantastic job again and um, maintaining a lot of the natural textures same thing with capture one and then finally in here we are going to go to the makeup which is where the contouring is on evoto and then we'll whack that all the way to 100 so this is the image with everything at 100 with Evoto before, after, before, after. So let's zoom that out a little so you can actually see what the effect before, after, before, after. So that is what it looks like. And then if we jump over to Capture One and then do the same again. So that's before, after, before, after, before, after. Let me put them side by side. Let's see if we can get them side by side so you can actually see. So this is Evolto before, after, for after. You can clearly see the, in terms of like the color difference here. Um, in some ways I feel like Evolto looks much more natural, but in, in some ways I feel like Capture One. But as you can see, I do feel the Capture One image contour looks a lot more stronger than the Evoto AI version and um, that is evident. The last thing to add with Capture One on the skin retouching is texture, which is what you can find on Capture One. So let's add the skin texture on here all the way to 100 and this is where you kind of like see the difference when it comes to like adding that skin texture. So if you're comparing skin texture, I feel like this is the one area that Evoto needs to improve on. And Capture One is kind of got that dial in because the skin texture at 100 on Evoto looks a little bit digital. So it looks too digital for my liking. So Hence why it's not something that I personally use. And if I do use it, I will probably use it at a, like a five or 10% if that. So maximum 10% so that it's not too overdone and over process. This is what our image look like with everything on full whack. But let's, 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 let's just adjust these settings um, 
and make it less, especially when it comes to the contouring. I think I want to pull back on the contouring, bring them out down, impact blemishes, bring a circle. I still want to keep it kind of like as natural as possible. So if we go to the before and after, So that is much more in line with how I would kind of like edit my images um, to give it a natural feel As if I was to use Capture One. Now let me head into Evoto and do the same thing. So I'll show you how I will edit this image. So in Evoto, I, I would so in Evoto, I would bring my sliders down a little. So freckle and acne, bring that down. Dark circle, I'll bring that to about 20 to 30%. You don't want it to look too overdone. And we go down to frequency separation and burn, bring that down to about 40%. Texture, like I said, I bring that down to about 10, 10 to 11. And then the contouring, that is where I'll bring that down again to about a 50%. And that is much more natural and happy with that. So for me, the key takeaway is capture one obviously had kind of like no choice but to jump on this wave of portrait retouching and I'm sure they will catch up with software like Evoto, Apity, Retouch for me sooner or later in terms of offering a little bit more. But my final thought is I'm really, really impressed with the start that they've made and I do like the way it adds the skin texture or keeps the skin texture with the Capture One, I feel like it's slightly better than what Evoto AI does. Well, it's a lot better than what Evoto AI does. So, but for me right now with what Evoto AI offers, it's still the one I will probably choose right now to do any kind of like portrait retouching. Of course, as mentioned, I do like the way Capture One renders its colors straight out of camera. I feel like they are best in class and no one's even close, like even with Lightroom, I still find that I have to tweak my color sometime a little to kind of like get it to where I prefer and where it feels much natural to me. But I'm impressed, still a bit of work with what they have to do. But right now, Evoto AI is my choice when it comes to portrait retouching because I need a little bit more right now from the software. I think I would probably prefer to go with a voter app. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried the Capture One beta yet? Let me know in the comments below and share your thoughts and feedback on what you think and where you think the software could go in terms of what else they can add to make it even better than what it already is. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.